the US Fed cut rates overnight. So what does this mean for Indian assets? Looking at the past four easing cycles since 1998, we find that bonds has been a consistent outperformer with performing doing well as we go into the first rate cuts as well as six months post the first rate cuts. On the other side, equities performance has been a bit more mixed, not doing too well as we go into the first rate cut cycle, but post the first rate cut, we see performance improving over one to three months, but post that, over 12 months periods, we see performance a bit more mixed as growth concerns emerge. The current trend in domestic assets has been a departure from previous cycles, with the Nifty index up 28% over the last 12 months and the 10-year IGP bond yield down 35 bips over the same period. We think that in the coming few months, it will be the evolution of the growth and both domestic as well as global and how RBI reacts to that which will determine the positioning of Indian assets. In our view, a diversified asset allocation remains the most prudent strategy. Now for equities, a lot of positives are discounted. Strong earnings growth, resilient macros, as well as government and policy continuity, which raises the risk of a near-term pullback. On the other hand, the risk reward is very attractive for bonds, given still attractive carry, as well as our view of inflation and interest rates moving lower.